In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a very simple thing that you can do to prevent your quarterback from fumbling in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my YouTube channel, my channel is focused on helping people get better at Madden NFL 21 through tips and tricks. Now we post four videos every single day on our YouTube channel that break down different Madden 21 concepts and tricks that you can test out and apply to your own game. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you just a simple tip that I find actually very, very helpful um, for my personal offense and for anyone that is passing the ball at a high clip. I actually highly, highly recommend this because if you're passing the ball at a high clip, there's a chance you're going to get sacked. And if you're like me, if you get sacked, you sometimes will be throwing out a sack and you will basically fumble the ball. And I'm just going to give you a simple coaching adjustment to uh, basically do this. Now, if you are looking to become a better passer, we actually have a full ebook out right now on the Arizona Cardinals Offensive Guide. And it actually comes with a defense as well. So I'd highly recommend you pick up that. It's my competitive competitive guide that I use in money games and tournaments um, and I've won hundreds of dollars with this year. You can pick that guide up in the description of this video. Um, it's over, got, got over 125 pages. It teaches you how to get one play touchdowns against any coverage in the game and uh, just a very, very well uh, written guide, something that's really going to help you take your game to the next level. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to show you and we're going to, to, to mirror this, we're just going to come out in a standard, um, in just a standard man blitz pressure, and we're just going to come out in a passing play, and I just want to show you really quickly what can happen with your quarterback. So a couple things. Number one, um, if you step back here to pass, if I throw the ball right there, you see that right there. See the fumble. See that? Notice that? That happens to me all the time. Um, you're dropping back to pass. You have a read come open. You try to throw it, and you throw it just a split second too uh, late. And instead of getting sacked or maybe throwing an incomplete pass, what ends up happening is you end up fumbling the ball. Um, and that happens to me all the time, right? Uh, there's a very simple solution to this, and it's actually something that I highly recommend for passers um, because of the fact that I think one of the things that you're going to see a big shift in competitive Madden is I think people will start using more strip specialists. A lot of people are using strip specialists on their um, on their user and doing user rushes and coming at you that way. And then they're also uh, what I've started doing is actually using strip specialists on my defensive ends so that when they get free off the edge, they're able to come in and get a strip sack. To prevent strip sacks from happening, literally all you have to do is go down to ball carrier progressive, or uh, I'm sorry, put your ball carrier trait right here on your coaching adjustments, put that on conservative. Now, what that's going to mean is you can't do any moves with your players in the open field. You can't juke, you can't spin, you can't do any of that. But what you can do is you can still do the stop and go, which is a very effective, um, which is a very effective tactic for you to basically get free um, from the defenders. But what this is also going to help out, like let's say you scramble with your quarterback, you get out of the pocket, you see he would have fumbled that if it would have if it wouldn't have been on conservative, right? Um, we've all seen that animation before. Another thing, like let's see, we get him out into the edge and then we try to throw it. As we're getting hit, what you're going to notice is like you've seen this all the time, right? You'll be rolling out, you're trying to throw it, you know, a split second comes up. And then you try to throw it right there. Instead of taking a fumble, he's throwing and able to get the ball out to the player. I have found this to be absolutely critical. Um, I've, I've found that I have not fumbled yet since making this decision and switching to this for the majority of the game. Now, obviously, in key situations, like if I know I'm going to run the ball, I might take it off a conservative. But as you see here, if I scramble with the quarterback, you notice he is still going to fumble. So make sure that you're still sliding. If you scramble with the quarterback on non-quarterback design runs, he will still fumble. However, let's say that I went to, let me see if I can find a read option here. Let's say that I went to a quarterback designed run. Let's just say maybe something like this, right? Where I'm able to, uh, let me just grab a read option. But if I go to a quarterback designed run, like let's say QB power or uh, read option or any of those basic lists, if I have a fake touch pass maybe that I could use here. Um, if I go to any of those kind of runs, here's a read option and I run with the quarterback, what you'll notice is he won't fumble. It's only on the non-designed quarterback run. So you see here, I can get tackled. I'm not going to fumble. If I scramble out of the pocket, that's when I need to make sure that I'm being smart and I'm sliding down with my quarterback. Okay. But putting it on conservative, in my opinion, will really help you a lot. Um, if you're struggling with the fumbling issue, I have been having a lot of fumbles, you know, in key situations, key drives because of this. And to be quite honest with you, 
my offense relies on executing, being able to you know hit the open target, hit the open receiver. I don't necessarily need to double juke. I don't necessarily need to spin move unless I'm running the ball and run heavy player. But what you'll notice is if you're a run heavy player and you're running the ball all the time, you actually don't fumble very much as a running back. They've primarily basically beefed quarterback fumbling due to an overreaction with how effective the quarterback draw was. And now they've not only made the quarterback draw less effective, but they've also made uh, the quarterback basically fumble you know, in the pocket, just standing there because they've beefed up fumbles so much. If you put it on conservative, on quarterback design runs like read option, QB powers, fake jet pass uh, powers, that's going to help with fumbles. And also, um, you're also going to be able to not have to worry about fumbling in the pocket when you get sacked. So my advice is to go ahead and get really good at taking sacks as opposed to trying to get the ball out where you're going to fumble. Okay, we're going to basically put an end to that with this uh, little concept right here. So very, very easy thing to apply to your game. If you're a passer, pass-heavy player like I am, first and foremost, pick up the Arizona guide in the description. It's going to help you take to the next level because you're going to be able to pass like you've never passed before, and I can promise you that. You're going to be one play touchdown people. They're going to ask how you got so good so fast as they've asked for several of the people that have already picked up the guide. Secondly, consider putting your um, quarterback, especially for passing situations, when you know you're going to pass, make sure you're on conservative. That's going to save you a lot of fumbles. Guarantee it. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see me play with the offense and defense that I've been talking about and kind of see how I do with it, um, basically just come by the live stream. We stream Madden every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So all you got to do is come by the channel, and we'll be live at then. If you want to get notified when we go live or you want to talk with some of the other members in my community, I'd highly encourage you to join our Discord, which is in the link in the description below. Completely free to do that. Um, and that's where we'll obviously let everyone in our Discord know whenever we're live on YouTube. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it really does help you stop with the fumbling of the quarterback in the pocket in those key moments in the game. See ya.